Your fat has stem cells. You hear about people going to an orthopedic surgeon or going to some specialist and getting stem cell injections in their knees or in their shoulders to help grow new cells, right? Well, did you know that your fat has stem cells too? So what we're gonna talk about is some cutting edge new stuff that's come out of Stanford. Okay, so these Stanford researchers have started looking into fat stem cells to see how they replicate, how they grow, what acts upon what is called the cilium, okay, which is basically the tail at the end of a stem cell. We're gonna dive into some research and make this quick and dirty and have some fun with it so you have some fat knowledge. Hey, I do wanna make sure you hit that little red subscribe button and that little bell icon so you never miss a beat on this channel. And then after this video, please check out ButcherBox down below in the description to get your high quality omega-3 grass-fed, grass-finished meat delivered to your doorstep. Check them out, don't wanna miss it. All right, so here's what Stanford researchers were looking at. Stem cells have, well, I guess a stem. It's almost like an alien-like tail that hangs off of it. It's called the primary cilium. And what it is, is it's the tail that hangs off of a stem cell that usually responds and reacts to things. So what Stanford researchers wanted to do is they wanted to find what reacted with a fat stem cell to actually trigger it to, well, go through hyperplasia, to grow, to replicate, right? So really interesting stuff. So here's what they did. And I know this sounds gross and weird, but they took mice and they gave mice a particular substance that allowed their stem cells to glow, like aliens, right? So their stem cells were visible. They could look through a microscope and see them because they were lighting up. And the primary cilium, the little tail that hung off of the stem cell was lighting up too. So they wanted to see what actually was reacting with the stem cell tail. Well, guess what they found? Okay, they found that it was omega-3s that were reacting to the tail and triggering the fat cell to replicate. Now, at first you're thinking, wait a minute, this sounds terrible. I don't want my fat cells to replicate, but newsflash, you actually do. And I'll explain that in just a second, but it's important that you know one really critical thing. Okay, if the stem cell does not get activated, then we see solid links to metabolic disease. So if a fat stem cell just doesn't get activated by anything, you're going to potentially have metabolic disease. Okay, diabetes, obesity, things like that. We're looking at genetic code here, really important stuff. Okay, so why is it not bad that the fat cells were dividing or replicating? Well, it's not bad because we have two choices in the grand scheme of things. Fat cells can either divide and grow that way through hyperplasia where they divide and create lots of little fat cells, or they can grow individually through these, basically, where one fat cell just gets really large and grotesque. Well, which one do you want? Now, full disclaimer, I've done videos in the past that talk about how having less fat cells could be better, but that's what you are born with. So there's a difference between what you are born with versus what is actually getting acted upon by just external forces. So if you have lots of little fat cells, they're not growing and they're not leaking hormones. But if you have large fat cells that just grow on their own, then they're going to leak estrogen, they're gonna leak aromatase, right? They're gonna leak inflammation, they're gonna leak all kinds of nasty things, and they are going to ultimately lead to more metabolic disease. So when we find that omega-3s activate fat stem cells to replicate, it is an amazing thing, and it proves that omega-3s are absolutely pivotal to our overall development from a genetic level and from a healthy cellular level. So these researchers at Stanford have just started to unlock the absolute fat key for us. It's not about how much fat cells you have. And this is recent, as of 2019, journal cell stuff. I'm coming to you straight with this. It could be more about the quantity and the quality of the fat cells than it is just about the number in general. I know this is random and really weird, but the point is consume your fish oil, consume your algal oil, get your flax in, get your chia in, get your grass-fed, grass-finished meat in, get your sardines in, get those omega-3s in because they are proving to be the root of what can allow us to build healthy fat cells, which is going to make you healthier and give you less of an instance of developing metabolic disease. So as always, keep it locked in here on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. See you soon.